Hi folks, I'm Frank Cox with SmokerBuilder.com. Um, today's tip is uh, MIG welding tip. Uh, what today's tip is about is uh, how to make a consistent weave pattern um, on quarter inch plate or, or thicker metal, three sixteenths, uh, something like that that you can run a pretty good bead on and burn in pretty good. This particular cooker is a reverse flow smoker and it's a square cabinet that I'm building uh, for a customer. <clears throat> and what I do um, anytime I'm putting, I'm welding up a joint in heavier metals, you know, eighth inch and up, what I'm doing is I'm making like a fillet weld, which is a shape that goes kind of like this and over. It's a right angle. So this top plate stops short of the bottom plate, and that left me a, an angled groove there. And uh, you'll notice that, that this weld, for the most part, is pretty consistent. Of course, this is a job I'm trying to make money on, so I'm trying to go a little bit quicker. And, uh, and you'll see a few spots where, you know, there's like an inconsistency or something or where I had to stop because my gun plugged up or something. Who knows what happens there. But anyway, uh, um, so a good way to make a, to make a weld that looks like this here, uh, if, if you're a beginner, is the first thing to remember is try to stay consistent on your speed. Um, don't get in a hurry. And, uh, you know, watch where you're, what you're resting on. So right now, like I've got my elbow resting on this cook chamber. That's going to restrict your uh, your range of movement. So one thing I do, I'm right-handed, so I hold this gun in my right hand. I make sure my cable is is got free movement. It's not going to hang up on the the trailer or whatever I'm working on. And then you'll see on a lot of pictures and videos of me welding or whatever is that I'll put this in my in my fingers like this, almost like a pencil. And uh, of course, this will get pretty hot up in here whenever you're welding a long long seam, you know, two feet long or so. And thicker metal, so you got a good, you got your good gloves on and stuff. But put that in there and just get comfortable, and that'll leave your pinky where you got some free movement of your pinky and stuff. So I make sure that my elbows aren't resting on anything, and you know I've got plenty of good movement. And that pinky is more or less a guide. I'm not resting weight down on that pinky. It's just kind of giving me something to base, you know, my height of my end of my nozzle up off the the surface I'm welding on. Um, and then I'll do a motion with that that's more like an oval. So on that joint, if you can watch here like I'm dragging, I'll pull across the bottom with my wire and then I'll raise back up, go forward over the top of the spot that I just, where my puddle is, and then I'll pull back a little more and I'll raise back over and I'll keep doing a little oval like that. And I always run my wire or my, uh, my, electro, my, uh, my filler metal, I'll run that down on uh, the base metal first, the one that's at the, at the bottom. So I'll, I'll go down along the bottom and then I'll raise up because my puddle's going to want to fall with gravity. So if I was to weld upwards and go the other direction and then go back underneath, I wouldn't burn in as good on the bottom piece of metal because I would already have a puddle that's running down onto that bottom piece. So you just want to go with your, you know, your hand kind of like this on a horizontal run like this. You'll just kind of drag it along you know, and do that oval like that right there. Pull along the bottom and run back up. Pull along the bottom and run back up. And just kind of keep going. And then you'll, you'll notice my elbows aren't dragging on anything. My fingers rest in here just a little bit. And, uh, you know, you'll get a good consistent run that way. And then if you've got a good mask and a clean lens, that's the biggest thing is keep a good clean welding lens if you want to run a good pretty bead in a place where people's going to see it. And you can watch the edge of your puddle real good. You'll be able to see it real good. And you'll see the edge of your puddle falling down and kind of hitting up against the edge of your, your metal that you're welding on. And when you go back up, you'll see the other edge kind of flow around. Your puddle is going to follow your wire as it's going around like that. So just you, you'll be able to see that kind of falling down and then hurry up and get back up and then run that bottom. So it's, it's, it's real easy once you get the hang of it. And uh, it's like drawing circles with a pencil. Just the biggest thing is, is keep yourself free, range of movement, no restrictions, and you'll have better welds. Uh, check out smokerbuilder.com forums. Um, if you've got any questions about this video or comments, uh, make sure and post them on the, on the YouTube channel there in the comments feed. And then uh, you can also talk about it on Facebook. And uh, if you check out our forums, there's a lot of people on there that can help you as well. Um, and then if you want to support the mission, go to smokerplans.net. Thanks a lot.